Certainly pleased with the outcome. Um, defense played great. Six takeaways uh, is huge. Uh, you know, so I thought the secondary was outstanding. Um, you know, to, to beat Colgate, no matter the scenario, I mean, they've been the class of this league for the last uh, five or 10 years. And, and Dan does a great job, runs a great program. So to, uh, to be able to win against that team, you know, spring, fall, whenever is, uh, is a great thing. So proud of the boys. Thought uh, the effort and the energy was tremendous. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's great to get a win. Great to come out with a win. Coach, as you mentioned in your in your opener, I mean, defense played such a huge role in today's game. I mean, how how does it how does it make you feel on the field uh, as a coach and for the players on offense as well? You know, to kind of give you give you guys that cushion and allow you to kind of you know experiment more on offense in the spring season. Yeah, I mean, it's big. Um... <clears throat> You know, they uh, and, and they played great last week. Just, you know, there was four or five long runs that kind of hurt us. But for the most part, they played tremendous. Um, so, you know, the uh, it's a huge thing to be able to put together kind of a team win, you know, where it wasn't our best day on offense, but we played adequately well. I thought we did a really nice job uh, on special teams and, and obviously played a great game on defense. So... To, to get that that full team win that I think you know we haven't really had um, in my time here um, is, is you know special. So you know with the exception of you know maybe Lehigh my first win in 2018, um, you know to get a full team win like that I thought was great. And uh, moving on to offense, talking about Tim Demerat, uh, he had two rushing touchdowns today. Mm -hmm. Can you say about his versatility so far this season? He's doing he's doing a really good job with his legs, and uh, you know I think, especially you know last week and this week, he made quick decisions, got rid of the ball. You know he's uh, he's really kind of taking control of his offense, and, and uh, excited to see what he can do in the fall. And uh, so after today, you guys have a a, a one and one record, um, and you know, potentially, potentially next week, uh, given the result of the upcoming Colgate Holy Cross game, all three teams in your division could be tied for a potential playoff spot. Uh, will you guys be main, like keeping an eye on updates for that game, or are you going to be totally locked into Bucknell next week? Well, I mean, it depends on, you know, game times and things like that. But obviously, if we're playing at the same time they're playing, we're going to be pretty much locked in on what we're doing. Um, you know, we can – we talk about it all the time. You can only control what you can control. And, and it's coach speak to a certain extent, but it's also very true. Um, we can only control our preparation and, and our effort. So that's what we'll focus on. Um, you know, that's, that's what we're going to – worry about in the next week and you know all the scenarios that could get us to potentially the championship game and all that you know we'll let that sort out and you know when the dust settles next Saturday if, if we get to play once more that'll be great if not okay you know and we'll, we'll figure it out from there and looking ahead to Bucknell um what about Bucknell are you are you going to be preparing your team for the most well you know they have uh, a couple of really good wide receivers um I think they run the ball well you know Brandon and uh um, I don't have the roster in front of me, but number one, I think, is a really good wide receiver. I think they do a really nice job on offense, um, playing to their strengths, and they they have I think they have a fantastic defense. The front six really plays hard, um, and their secondary is aggressive. And you know they picked six against us last year, so I think they're a really well coached team. They're big and strong. Um, and it's going to be you know they're going to give us a tough game. And finally, can you give an update on uh, on Hamza at all? Hamza, Hamza's okay. Yeah, a little bit of a hamstring. So, you know, he's a kid who's unbelievably proactive about getting treatment and all that stuff. So we'll see how he does, but he'll be a day-to-day -day deal. Thanks, Coach. Sure thing.